Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, coming to you today from PTC 2022 in beautiful Honolulu. Joining me today is Dan Thomas, SVP of Sales for Atlas Edge. Dan, Hi. thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you. Appreciate thanks for having, having me. you. Yeah, how's, how's it going so far at PTC? Good, good. Yeah. I'm, I'm extremely pleased this event's going ahead. Yeah. Uh, and I, I know we'll talk about it a little bit, but it's just nice to see everyone back here. Yeah, so great to be back in person, yeah, yeah. isn't it? And, yeah. and I know Future that we're so. all hoping it's the start of, you I know, so. the, the future so. of being back in person. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you've, it's, uh, I understand it's been a big week for you aside from being here in person. You've also had a, a launch event uh, during PTC. Tell us about that. Tell we us about that. So we, uh, we actually founded the company back in September last year. Okay. Um, and that's always tough in the respect of you, you would, you're doing it from behind a desk with teams yeah. but with the event going on and having the ability to see people in person we actually and the timing was perfect we chose to uh, launch the company in the respect of having an event yesterday evening yeah. and brought together over a hundred people from the industry and back to this ability to see people face to face it was just wonderful to connect with a lot of the industry that we've seen remotely uh, for the last two years yeah. and, and actually to do that face to face was, was great. Yeah. So really successful event. Yeah, sounds yesterday. great and great turnout and yeah, yeah, yeah. congratulations yeah, I very on that. I was very um, pleased. So for those of our viewers who don't know, tell us a little bit more about Atlas Edge. Atlas Edge, so we, um, we're building what we feel is Europe's leading edge platform and uh, from a, an overview standpoint, th this will cover data center infrastructure all across Europe. And the difference in that is uh, as we form the company, uh, and there's probably four key areas that I would talk about that are, I think are critical to how we've developed uh, and really really how we build the company in terms of what we're doing across Europe. So one is uh, we have a joint venture, which are our two shareholders to form the company, so Digital Bridge and, and Liberty Global. And uh, that executive team actually stood up the leadership team at Atlas Edge uh, and amongst the leadership team over a hundred years experience in the industry so really brought together a lot of the what I would call thought leaders from the industry in their respective areas mm -hmm. and then the infrastructure that we have which has been contributed by Liberty Global we've done a few acquisitions over the last few months uh, really gives us a mix of uh, a huge number of locations and also time to market which is uh, meeting customer demand which we're seeing is moving very quickly and I know that um you know, edge is something that's you know it's obviously been we've been talking about it for quite yeah. some time. But yeah. but why now? Why is it more important now than ever? Well, I think uh, I would look at it probably from one lens, which is as you've seen the industry develop and you've seen significant amount of of uh, data center capacity come up and supporting customer demand. Th those have been in established markets and from a European perspective, they've been in established well-known markets across, across that uh, geography. What we're now seeing is real customer demand that goes further in terms of edge infrastructure. Um, so it's been, I'm sure it's been talked about for many years in terms of how they solve that. Yeah. But that's how we're looking at it in terms of what we're building from an infrastructure perspective, but also the demand that we're seeing today. Yeah. So uh, an all-star team coming together and, and the right industry yeah. background and expertise and all of the things in play, you know, really targeting an opportunity that's that's primed and ready to be solved for and, and yeah. acted on. So all of that's great. What what do you see ahead, you know, thinking about all of that and, and how you're going to pull all that together? What does 2022 look like? Uh, busy. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's a good thing. Yeah. Yes, uh, a very good thing. So it, it will be a few different areas. The, the From an industry perspective, and we talk about this, I think there was a panel yesterday where we covered a similar topic, but the industry's done a very good job of scaling up, so building bigger in existing locations. Yeah. And how we look at this from an edge standpoint is scaling out, so building smaller amounts of capacity but in far more locations. Uh, and that's really our view as we look at this year and a, and a measure of success, is building that portfolio out in terms of the different assets that we have. 
but also um, really landing that customer demand that we're seeing at the moment. And, and that's a, also a proof of how we're seeing the edge market develop in terms of infrastructure and customer demand. Yeah. And so you've been busy this week meeting, aside from your event, but, but you know, meeting yeah. customers and potential customers. Is there, talk to us a little bit about who that ideal customer is or, you know, who you're sort of targeting and, and any, you know, any examples, any use cases maybe you can share. So there are, there are probably a few different areas that we'll focus on as a company. Um, I, I think you'll see the larger technology companies or hyperscalers look to deploy edge infrastructure. Uh, and that's certainly part of the conversations as we come to this event that, that we welcome to have. Um, but actually, as you look at the, the conversation we also have back in Europe, you're seeing a wave of enterprise demand. And these are use cases that we reference today that are uh, in retail sector, uh, that are looking at multiple locations in a given country. Right? And the, the, if you rewind 10 years ago, which is where the, where the cloud infrastructure market was, where one country in Europe would solve the whole theater, that changed over the last decade where you've got companies now in 11 countries. Right? And that evolution is now happening at the, uh, the country level in terms of being more granular, where you're looking at potentially 10 different locations in a given country. And you multiply that across Europe and you're looking at north of 100 locations. And, and those use cases as we start to roll out our infrastructure in the UK, which is where we'll start this and, and then move across continental Europe. Uh, in the retail sector, we're seeing, uh, and there are uh, public references to it, so you're seeing companies like Tesco's, so a grocery store, yeah. my, my British way of, uh, <laughs> they are deploying infrastructure as far as the petrol stations across multiple different locations in a given country. Um, and, and as you see the companies doing that kind of granular infrastructure, there is a demand there that you can then house that in far more data centers in a given country. <laughs> so there's some there's yeah. some really fascinating use cases. Yeah, fascinating was the word I was going to use, yeah, yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate oh, thank it. Thank you for having me. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.